Hello, hello, it's Monica from Crafting with Cooling Lady and welcome to my 12 day of Christmas project. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a double pop out Z fold cut with no cutting dies and it folds flat in 6 by 6 inches envelope and you don't need any cutting dies to create it. For my cut, I'm going to use green piece measuring 6 inches by 8 inches. I'm going to place my ruler at 4 inches and I'm going to create a score line from the very top 2 inches down. When this is ready, I'm going to create a score line from the bottom 2 inches up. Now I'm going to place my ruler at 6 inches and repeat the process. So I'm going to create a score line from the top two inches down and then I'm going to create the score line from the bottom two inches up. Now I'm going to place my ruler at two inches and I'm going to create a score line from two to four inches. And literally that is it. All you have to do to create a card base for double pop out Z fold card. When this is ready, I need one more panel measuring 6 by 8 inches and I'm going to use exactly the same green color. And now when this is ready, I'm going to place my ruler at 4 inches and I'm going to create the score line from the top 2 inches down. Then I'm going to place my ruler at the bottom and create the score line 2 inches up. At 6 inches, I'm going to create the score line from the top 2 inches down and then from the bottom 2 inches up. When this is ready, I'm going to place my ruler at 2 inches and I'm going to create a score line from 2 to 4 inches. So again, from 2 to 4 inches. So having a ruler makes your job so much easier. Now you have a choice. You can use a craft knife and a ruler or a trimmer, like in this case from Craft Stash. So I'm going to place my cut at 2 inches and I'm going to create a score line, actually, cut line from 6 inches to 2 inches and then I'm going to place my cut at 4 inches and I'm going to create the cut line from 2 to 6 inches. When this is ready, I'm going to repeat that process on the second element. So again, I'm going to place my cut at 2 inches and I'm going to create a cut line from 6 inches to 2 inches. Then I'm going to place my cut at 4 inches and create the cut line from 2 to 6 inches. Now it is time to fold and burnish. However, at this point I thought let's make it easier and using the scoring line I went all the way on the second score line. So again, I'm going to do it here. So you can place your cut at 4 inches and create that score line all the way. Now it is time to use a bone folder, which makes your job super easy. Have you ever created a double pop-out Z-fold card? If you haven't, I really hope you'll give it a go. You don't really need to create it for Christmas, but you can use it for any occasion birthdays, anniversaries, literally whatever you want. And as you can see, when we fold it here, it looks like a few steps. And I really like all the dimension here. Now I'm going to repeat the process on the second panel. So again, I'm going to use my bone folder and create some mountains and valleys here. And when this is ready, then we can decorate the panels. And for this card, I decided to go with some greens and reds because for me, that is traditional Christmas color palette. However, you can use any colors that you want. So when this is ready, I'm going to create some mats and layers. And I challenge myself and I try to use all the white scraps of 300 GSM white card I've got. So that's why I've got the green card as a base. So let's create all those elements. And to decorate my card, I use that beautiful design paper from Polka Doodles called Winnie Winterland. So my white panel is one and three quarters by five and three quarters, and I need three of those. So again, it is one and three quarters by five and three quarters. Then I need 12 squares measuring one and three quarters by one and three quarters. So again, I need 12 of 
those. So this is one and three quarters by one and three quarters. So as you can see, that double pop out Z fold cut is this perfect to use your scraps. Now the design paper measures one and a half by five and a half. So this one and a half by five and a half, and I need three of those. And with the smaller squares, I need to have one and a half by one and a half. And again, I need 12 of those. So this one and a half by one and a half. Now it is time to assemble all those elements together. So I'm going to use my liquid glue, which makes it so much easier if you need to maneuver the elements. Have you ever created panels like this? I really like this fancy fold because it folds flat in six by six inches envelope, which makes your job easy because you don't need to create any box. And to be honest, that cut is super simple to create. It took me like 35 minutes to create it with all the cutting and scoring. So if you do want your very last minute Christmas card, maybe that is the one. I wonder, have you seen all my 12 days of Christmas videos and projects? If you have, which one is your favorite? Did you like the fancy folds or maybe the boxes? Please let me know which one is your favorite. Tomorrow I'm going to take a very short break and I will be with you on the first day. And please don't miss the first day video because I'm pretty sure you will absolutely love it. So now, as you can see, I put two green panels together and when you put it on a flat surface, you get a lot of dimension. And that's what I really like about that double out Z fold card. If you'd like to try it, please let me know in the comments what color palette are you going to use? Because as you can see here, I decided to go with red and green and use some scraps of white card. However, for your project, you can go as wild color palette as you want. Decisions, decisions, right? As you can see here, this is the design paper from Paul Cadoodles. Have you ever used any of the designs? Because today, that design paper, I think it is just perfect for Christmas with that beautiful decoration here. And I'm also going to use a digi stamp to embellish my card. And if you'd like to check any of the products I use in today's video, you can check the description down below. And if you do like polka doodles, I really wonder which one is your favorite design paper or collection or digi stamps, because at the moment I actually have quite a few favorites. Sometimes I just can't choose which one is it. And whenever I go to Polka Doodles website, they always have amazing, literally amazing range of digi stamps and digi papers. And when you subscribe to the newsletter, you always get discounts. So it is definitely worth it. As you can see, the card folds flat, which is super cool, right? And it stands proudly on a flat surface. Now it is time to embellish it with a digi stamp. And this one is called Gift Tree or Tree Gift Gnome. Check the description down below. I'm going to use my tri-blend markers from Spectre Noir to color him in. And then later on, I'm going to use my scissors to fussy cut that image. So in the end, you don't really need any cutting dice. And trust me, it is so amazing to do it. So when this is ready, as I told you, I'm going to fussy cut him. But with those tri-blend markers, you do have three colors in one pen. You've got the darker one, medium, and lighter, which makes coloring super easy. You can blend them beautifully. And then, as you can see here, I'm using the contrast between the darkest and the lightest color. So of course you can do it. And I'm pretty sure you will love the effect. Have you ever used tri-blend markers to color in your images? If you haven't, maybe today is the day. And to be honest, you can mix and match any of the alcohol markers together because in the end, they're going to blend beautifully. And my only suggestion here is to put a scrap piece of card underneath the image you color because in the end, alcohol markers are going to bleed. 
And when you have that piece of paper underneath, the paper is going to soak that alcohol. But if you don't have it and you just use your glass mat, all the alcohol will be soaked back again by your image and then you're going to have bleed lines. And that's not what we want, right? We want the crisp, beautiful image. So as you can see, the color palette here is very limited. Very often I just go crazy when it comes to colors, but today I just had to challenge myself. Let's keep it simple, right? Just green and red. And yes, a little bit of white, just for extra contrast. Now it is time to fussy cut him in, and I'm going to place him at the front of my card, which is super easy. I'm only going to put the glue where the Christmas tree is with all those presents. So this way, when I fold that card, as you can see, the image really stands out. Now it is time for a sentiment, and I'm going to use the leftover from the design paper, just to give me a very nice border. When this is ready, I'm also going to attach it to my card. And as you can see, for all those elements, I use my one and only liquid glue, magic glue, because I do have time to maneuver the elements if I make a mistake. And at this point, I thought something is missing. So I'm going to use clear overlay from Spectre Noir just to add a little bit of sparkle. But first, let's create two panels so you do have space to write your message. The bigger panel measures one and three quarters by five and three quarters and the smaller panel is one and three quarters by three and three quarters of an inch so the bigger panel is one and three quarters by five and three quarters and the smaller one is one and three quarters by three and three quarters now it is time for that clear overlay and the cut will be complete so if you are inspired by this card, please let me know in the comments down below if you would like to try it. I absolutely love to play with fancy folds and I think there are so many possibilities. You cannot go wrong with them because every single card is very special. So now the card is complete. As you can see, it has amazing dimension and it stands proudly on a flat surface. There is some space to write your message. And yes, it goes flat in 6 by 6 inches envelope. So if you like this project, please subscribe to my channel. Tomorrow I'm going to have a short break and I'll see you on Thursday. Please subscribe if you're new. You definitely don't want to miss more inspiration on my channel. Have a wonderful day, happy crafting, and if you feel inspired, please let me know in the comments down below. Bye!